Hey guys, Red Black Productions here, here today with another video tutorial. Today I'm going to teach you how to use custom lens flares in Sony Vegas 13. So one of the biggest problems I've had with Sony Vegas is that their lens flare selection has been pretty limited, right up till Sony Vegas 13, in which when they added new lens flares in. And these new lens flares have a lot of features, so today I'm going to go through some of those features. So to start off with, select the image or whatever you want to use for your Sony Vegas project and drag it in. Oh, pretty good open. So what I want to do is with this image, I'm going to resize it to start off with so it's going to work well for what I want to do. So to resize an image, go down to the image and select the pan crop. And what I'll do is I'll click the top left hand corner with the left mouse and hold down shift and drag the image inwards. And this large makes the image larger. So for our project, I'm going to make it about mm, this big. And I'm going to drag it up to the top left hand corner of the image. What I'm aiming for is a sort of explosion effect. Maybe make it a bit wider. So, once I've done this, I'm going to go to Video FX and go to All. And I'm going to show you the old lens flares and why they're not as good as the new ones. So you click Lens Flares once you find it. And left click, drag the image into the, drag the lens flares into the image. And what you're going to find is that the uh, lens flare box is going to pop up. Sometimes the lens flare won't actually pop up on the screen and what you want to do if you want it to come up is go to intensity and increase the intensity and it will show up. So what you want to do is you want to, if you want to move the lens flare around select the little cross right next to the lens flare sometimes it's very hard to see and drag the cross around and what that will do is it will move the lens flare. Once you've done that you can also change a few other options. You've got tint which changes the color of the lens flare. You can change the lens type, such as these or these, but they're all pretty standard. Some of them somewhat look like an explosion, but not really, not for what I'm after. You also got the size of the lens flare. It goes from like small to kind of kind of medium. And you also got perspective. That can change the perspective of the secondary elements compared to the primary elements of the lens flare. And that's all pretty basic. And you can also change the color of the lens flare. For some reason mine's negative. Go to blue or tint. Oh, and the color will only show up if you select tint, of course. So that changes the color of the lens flare. Now, if you want to get rid of these lens flares, because we won't be using them today, just go to the top right hand corner and go to remove selected plugin. And then just click on that. And it gets rid of them. So the new lens flares in Sony Vegas can be found under Hit Film Light Flares. And just uh, left click on this and drag it into the image. Now these lens flares have a lot more options available to them. To start with, select the little cross on the lens flare and drag it into the position that you want. What you'll find is that there's also another cross, a secondary cross on the image. And this cross here moves the secondary elements of the lens flare as you can see. But the primary elements just stay exactly where they are. Now you've got a few options in this box as well. One of them is the flare type. This change, and as you can see, there's a lot more than the custom lens, than the normal lens flares. There's a lot of them, and for this one here, I'm going to be using Anthropomorphic Enterprise to give my explosion. There's also Hotspot Position, and this does the same thing as moving around this little thing here changes the position of the lens flare. If you want to change the secondary elements, go to pivot position. This also changes the uh, secondary elements of the lens flare. So pretty basic, but it's pretty useful too. Now next we got intensity. And this is, does exactly what you'd think it would do. It increases the intensity. But here's a new one, scale. There was scale in the old one, but it never went this big. This here can go really, really big with the lens flare. And that makes it pretty useful. There are some ways you can make the other lens flares get this big, but it takes a lot of mucking around and it doesn't look as clean as this does. So for the purposes of this one, I'll make it about mm, that big maybe. Change it around so you can see that little streak, that cool little streak there. Now, one of the more important additions that they've added to these lens flares is the blending mode. What these do, what these do is these effect the interaction between the lens flare and the image itself. So if you choose something like none, the lens flare will completely dominate the image. Choosing something like normal, 
makes the lens flare and the image have no interaction, as you can see. Uh, for the purposes of mine, I'll probably use Add, because it does the best interaction between the two images, for these two at least. Now next, we got Global. Global affects basically the entire image, or well, the entire lens flare. You got things like Gamma, which increase and decrease the brightness of the lens flare. And you got things like Saturation. This, increase, this increases or decreases the actual saturation of the color. Pretty much what it exactly says. Then you've got something like Hue Shift, which changes the color of the lens flare. So I'm going to choose like a nice golden orange for the purposes of this. Hue Shift is a lot like tint in the usual lens flares. So on top of this, we've got Hotspot. And the Hotspot affects this part of the lens flare, the primary elements. You got things like brightness, which just increases the brightness once again. You got things like color, which changes the color not of the secondary elements, but of the primary elements. And I'm pretty happy with the color we already got. And you got a scale, which increases only the primary elements. So that's pretty much what you'd expect it to do for the hotspot. Hotspot changes the hotspots. So uh, keep it about there. Now next we've got rays, and this is pretty cool. You can change the brightness of the rays, and what the rays are, they're these things here. The rays are like the elements poking out of the primary elements. You got the scale, how many, uh, how many of these rays you want. You can choose quite a few, but make it look pretty overdone as well. And you got rotation, which just rotates it around. You got the length scale, this makes it, this determines how long the length of the rays will be. So if you want to balance, maybe just make it, make it so that they fade out of the image. Always makes it look the best. And then you've got width scale, which just makes it how wide the actual rays are. So that's all those things. And then you've got the secondary elements, which you can muck around with as well. And you can muck around with their brightness and their scale. So there's a few things you can do with it, but not, not too many. And as you can see, we've created a real sort of explosion now with the image. Maybe by making it a little bit less bright, and uh, making the scale a little bit less, it can blend in a little bit better. But what you can see is these lens flares have a lot more options compared to the normal lens flares. So there are a few of the things you can do with these lens flares. You can muck around with the different types and see uh, how they interact as well. They're all a little bit different, all with a lot of different elements. And they all look pretty cool in their own little way can hit down on the keyboard, the down arrow on the keyboard, that's an easy way to change them as well. So muck around with them, muck around with the blend mode, see what works well best for you. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So thanks for watching, stay tuned for more tutorials, and subscribe if you haven't, because we've got a lot more coming.